Hi, Tim here with Clive Coffee to share top five tech tips for using your Luca M58 successfully. When you first unbox your machine, you might be looking for the front feet. Those will be found in the bag that contains your water line. So just take a look inside your accessories bag, inside the box where your water line is, you're gonna find the feet tucked away inside there. That is to keep them away from any of the panels of the machine in shipping. We remove the feet to ensure that the machine is padded well and the frame is as safe as it can be in shipping. When you're first setting up your machine, you're gonna, if you're using the water tank and you fill that boiler initially, it's gonna draw a lot of water out of your water reservoir. You might notice the machine at a certain point will shut itself off. Really simple, all you do is refill your water tank. If the water level has dropped below, the sensor inside will turn the machine off. That looks like simply like this. You'll notice the PID will turn itself off. So refill your water reservoir and the machine will resume normal function. Using your E61 group head, putting the lever at a 45 degree angle will allow a little bit of water to trickle out. That's a pre-infusion phase that you can utilize. It works simply by the expansion of water inside the boiler. So this can function with the water reservoir or plumbed in and either way that you use it is going to operate and function the same. So 45 degree opens up and lets about up to four ounces of water trickle out. When you bring that brew lever up to a full 90 degree, you're gonna hear the pump kick in and water is gonna flow at its full rates. When you turn the machine, the brew group off, Remember, it needs to go into that down position to be completely off. Your M58 has a PID on board, and you can see the display up here. There are two buttons. I'm going to walk through really quickly what your PID does and how to use it best. Reading the PID display, I just want to share with you the decimal that you see flashing between two different numbers is not a decimal, it's a indicator of the boiler. So you have two separate boilers in the machine. The one on the far right, if you're looking at the machine from this direction, is your coffee boiler. And the one on the left is your steam boiler. So you can see that that point is showing right now a high number, almost 255, 256. That's your steam boiler. The point on the far right of the display indicates your coffee boiler, which is set right around 201, 202 at this point. The PID on your machine regulates the temperatures down to a degree. You can change the temperature settings simply by pressing the two buttons on the display simultaneously, holding them for just a quick second. You'll see T1 on the screen. You can enter T1, this is your coffee boiler, by pressing the right button and then quickly the left or the right to change that temperature setting. If you leave it for a second, it'll exit back to T1. From here, you can press the left button. You will see T2 on the display. The right button will enter T2 and from there you can change that setting. Pressing the left button one more time, we'll exit your temperature settings and the machine will go back to normal mode. There is an advanced setting where you can change the machine from 15 amp to 20 amp mode. The machine comes standard shift in the 15 amp mode. To switch over to 20 amp, turn the machine, the main power button, the switch on the right hand side, turn that off, press and hold the two buttons on the PID display. Turn the machine on and continue to hold until you see the F.01. Enter 
press the left button once to get to F.02. And then from here, you'll see it's set at four. That four is indicating 15 amp mode. If you enter and change that to six, six will change it over to a 20 amp mode. I'm gonna set it back to 15 amp mode. To exit the advanced programming and save that setting, I would turn the machine main power switch on the right hand side, turn that off for a few seconds and then turn the machine back on. All Luca M58s that have shipped since the fall of 2017 have an updated wiring assembly. This has the wires bundled nice and cleanly and running along the outside of the pump. We've minimized the incidence of wires being sheared during shipping by tucking those wires cleanly off to the side. That will ensure that when you receive your machine, everything is working in proper order. For more information on using your Luca M58, check out these videos here. For additional technical articles, check out our knowledge base resources at clivecoffee.com.